The well, government whip. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, I want to congratulate Riding for the Disabled Southwest Western Australia. They're based in Jalorup, and recently they celebrated their 40th birthday. From very humble beginnings in 1978, they've now grown to service over 2,000 clients in the region. The work of founding members Maud Stanley, Olga Green and Jean Lishman has been vital in ensuring that countless people with disabilities have been able to experience the organisation's amazing services. All three women were instrumental in setting up the association and volunteered thousands of hours over the 40 years, as you can imagine. Deservedly, they've all received life membership. During her long association with the organisation, Maud Stanley became a coach for both therapeutic riding and hippotherapy. Nowadays, Maud still coaches the hippotherapy group and is on the WA Hippo Committee. Olga was a coach until retiring just a few years ago. Jean also retired recently. She started in the therapeutic riding sessions before moving to hippotherapy and she became involved in the W Hippotherapy Central Committee. I really acknowledge the tireless work of the centre's other life members, Robert Warwick, Stanley Buck, Lorraine Monaghan, Patricia Thompson, Dorothy Orloff, Jeff Brown, Terry Guinness and Ken Wood. And I wanted to thank all the local sponsors and donors who've made sure that Riding for the Disabled has been able to continue its work. And I've seen firsthand as a, as a patron in Harvey of the freedom, often the first independent movement that someone with severe disability has is actually on the back of that horse. And it's amazing how the horses adjust to the movements and the needs of the individual on their back. It's just extraordinary. Medical professionals recognise there are significant, significant therapeutic benefits for people connecting with horses across the board. And the three-dimensional movement of a horse is transferred through the rider's body and it relaxes and strengthens core stability, reducing spasms and improving balance, posture and coordination. The joy on the faces of the people who are on the backs of those horses has to be seen to be believed. Their first independent movement sometimes ever. Across the state, riding for the disabled provides more than horse riding as vaulting, carriage driving, dressage and hippotherapy, all services provided for riding for the disabled. For many people, the organisation <coughs> provides people with disabilities an opportunity to get out of their house and participate in activities they otherwise wouldn't have the chance to do. I commend the amazing work, the hard work, of the riding for the disabled in Jalorup and right across Australia, uh, particularly my hard-working volunteers in the southwest in my electorate. Thank you, Mr. I thank Speaker. the honourable member for Forest.